Flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're not listening to the mind of an Terry's Mill. I'm the Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And we're going to talk about motherfucking voodoo, because this is like one of the most requested that y'all want me to talk about. But first and foremost... You know what I'm saying? I finally, I'm happy as fuck. I finally get to do a video. You know what I'm saying? Electricity was off. It came back on yesterday. As soon as a motherfucker dived into his emails, I guess I stumbled across a whole bunch of NATO readings. So, you know, that's what brings us to this state right now. You know what I'm saying? The reason why I ain't upload no video earlier, because I was busy doing NATO reasons. But right now, I'm free. So, right now, y'all finna see this explosive energy that I got just going on within my goddamn mind. And y'all gonna see the continuation of it tomorrow and so on and so forth. And we back on regular, regular schedule programming. You see what I'm saying? But yeah, we're gonna talk Talk about voodoo now before we even get in voodoo you need to know that under i like to talk about everything from the root cause you know what i'm saying I, I don't i only understand things from the root cause so once i hear a word and i pick up the frequency vibration i could only speak about it from that so based upon men and women lost interpretations of this i don't really know about that i can only tell you from the truest state now whatever the world is talking about they can only be talking about what i'm talking about because if you really decipher and break down what they're talking about it can only reach what i'm talking about and I don't even necessarily know what they're talking about. So I just put together the words, pick up the frequency vibrations, and I was I was here at a time that these things originated. So for the most part, y'all need to know that things has to things has to be created. So someone created this energy signature that y'all call voodoo today. It may not have been voodoo when it was created. It may have just been a spirit state of being and that spirit was in a body and that spirit was resonating in a state of being and however it was feeling it had pushed out a certain energy signature and that energy signature has accumulated through many different ve vehicles many different people many different ideas added to it to which y'all got it today and this is what y'all call voodoo today now for the most part we're going to break this down as far as archangel uriel from a four fifth and sixth dimensional aspect because we know from a four fifth and sixth dimensional level everything starts with a body a current a body of water so a star is a body of water, a body of current. So when we got the most lightest physical form in your realm of reality, which will be a molecule or water, whatever y'all want to call it, you know, a, a less dense, unexperienced spirit can take that to experience this realm of reality and start developing its own chakra wheels, its own current, its own will, its own body, its own rotation out of the overall rotation, a.k.a. the star that we're on right now, the bigger body. So for the most part, we're coming from Everything is coming from that state of being. That's true knowledge. You know what I'm saying? That first shape and form. But we're all just spirits. No thing, no shape and form. So something has to be actually um, emitted first from a person's a spirit, a virtuous state of being. So now that we got this out the way, we know that this is coming from a form of water. So um, if we're dealing with waters, this is dealing with high waters. Now when we talk about, before we get into voodoo, voodoo, boo, this is heavy bubbles. When you're low in a frequency vibration of a water, right, and you put life into it, that bubble becomes very large but very slow because it's vibrating, vibrating very low. So that bubble can actually transpire and actually cause an impact, an explosion, or have an influence because it's in fluid. So th that rotation, that body will out outweigh and shine more than the lesser bubbles and scatters and shit like that. You get what I'm saying? So now take this into consideration. When we're talking about before... Before we even get into voodoo, you need to know what uh, the practices of this even came from. Now, you're going to have to know the difference between wizards, witches, um, sorcerers, 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 and mages, warlocks, and warlords. Now you're gonna need you're gonna know you're gonna have to know the difference between all six of these. If I name six, I think I named six. Uh, witches, wizards, sorcerers, mages, war uh, warlocks, and warlords. Now you're gonna need to know the difference between all these because this is actually like a scale. But there's actually there's a masculine and positive. There's a yin and yang to everything. So there's something that pushes out and destroy, and there's something that receive and it's already in a state of being. So this is what you actually need to know. And then there's two rules of engagements. There's always a term of agreements. Because like chess, there's two bat there's two people going to war and there's a battlefield. So you see what I'm saying? So if you have a masculine and feminine going to war, they need a battlefield. And the way that they initiate going to war will be in their way. So let's break this down before we even get into voodoo because this is what you need to know. Now, witches 
and wizards. Now, these are the same things, right? Now, a wizard is just a male version of this. And a witch is just the female version of this. Now, what are they doing? These are people who are born. So this is like people like me and my soul group. We're born with four, fifth, and sixth dimensional um, intellect. So you're already born as a magician. You're already born with an imagination. You don't put too much logic and rationality onto your rainbow waters. You don't create too many firmaments. Therefore, you allow imaginations to flow through you and you and you can act out as the expression of these imagination. Now, this imagination may play out as dreams. Um, it may play uh, to, to the people around them. It may play out as miracles to the people around them. It may play out as wisdom, being wise, wizard, wise, witch, uh, being a bitch. That's all wisdom. That's what y'all need to know. The, a bitch is this a physical shape and form manifested from the feminine energy. Now, feminine energy is very powerful. So when you come across a bitch, you just need to know that you ain't going to win next to a bitch. I don't care how you look at a bitch. So if you want to look at it as it being a female or a female pit bull or a woman or just the feminine energy itself your ass will get swallowed up into that black hole so your ass motherfucker need to fucking chill that energy is beyond what y'all want to call a, a female as far as that term bitch shit is beyond that in the fourth fifth and sixth dimension you need to you you gonna wish you was a bitch in a fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension. You need to know that. That's why that energy was so powerful for Lil B. Lil B spirit is doing shit that his physical form is unaware of. He probably just going truly being himself. But him just being himself is why he was successful. But really, in behind the scenes, the spirit know what the fuck is going on. Shit. Now, I'm, I'm not saying for everybody to call themselves bitches down here. I'm just saying that energetic signature. It's from a powerful state, and you can utilize it in your own way. You don't necessarily have to call yourself a bitch or be a bitch to utilize the bitch energy. Know that. But for the most part, yeah. Now, but when we're talking about witches is the feminine version of this energy signature, and wizards is the masculine of it. And for the most part, these people... These spirits are born with four, fifth, and sixth dimensional attributes. So they understand how to have an imagination and how to let how to let the imagination do a snowball effect, aka accumulate. And once a wizard or a witch can see this, this gives them insight on how things actually works. You see what I'm saying? So it's like a, a, a inner wisdom. Now, this will be like the feminine side of the mysticism or the magic or the magicians this would be the feminine side because they are born with it so we are born with it so we received it already you see what i'm saying since we're all since in all realms since we are experiencing first before we create our first body of current our chakra our lights before since we are experiencing the nine times out of ten we're receiving then since we are born with this we have received this at a much earlier state than when we get to the masculine side because the masculine is the second coming the day the light was the bringing you see what i'm saying so for the most part let's get into that now the masculine of the magicians will be the sorcerers and the mages now here's the difference between them because both of these could be male or females, but here's the difference. But they're lower vibrational. Here's the difference between them. Um, a sorcerer likes to take, so they like to take what the witches and and um, and the wizards have created. So when say like me, I'm a wizard, and all my uh, uh, females out there, y'all, my witches. Now say we create an imagination. Say we create a thought form. We just we got a new creation. We created a new music or something. We did some type of magician. And we created something, right? A sorcerer will be a male or female that take that and utilize it for their own intentions. So it's like they have bad intentions, but they don't have this natural ability themselves. So they may not know how to make a song, but a, a sorcerer will know how to take a song a witch or a wizard have made and use it for their circumstance that they're in at the moment. So say for an example, Sizzla, she's a witch. So she made that song The Weeknd. So a sorcerer, which will be a male or a female, would take that song and play it when they when they want to be with someone, but they know that the person that they're with at the moment is in a relationship, but they're with this person during the, during the weekend. So you know what I'm saying? So the sorcerer would take with the, the magic that the witch or the wizard have created and utilize it for their own intentions, their own desires, their own pleasures. So at the root cause... That's what a sorcerer is. You see what I'm saying? A sorcerer takes 
for their own intentions. Now, a mage, a mage is, they're like neutral. So this could be a male or a female also. Reason why a witch and a wizard can be their male because they're at the highest state. So the higher you get, the lesser the energies, the lesser the elements. So don't be letting no kind of like, um... What's the, what they call these people who try to make you rise in consciousness due to shapes and forms, making you think that because there's a way that you can evolve by obtaining more elements. The higher the ram you go is more elements. But see, that's going deeper into the ocean. It's supposed to be you supposed you supposed to go to the negative uh, proportion of the fourth, fifth or sixth dimension where the higher you go, the lesser the elements. Therefore, you you rise spiritually, but less than physically. You got spirits that's trying to teach you how to rise physically, but less than spiritually. So therefore, your spirit be all strong, but your spirit be trying to create a, a bigger shape and form to go into. Therefore, you become a big ass constellation, but you be, you become so obligated with responsibilities, you have no spiritual nature. You have no time to yourself, so you end up being washed up with all these responsibilities. So yeah, you got power and success, but you have no spirit. You see what I'm saying? And you're supposed to be in that realm of reality where you're very spiritual, but you may have little to nothing, but you, you are able to gain all the success in that realm of reality, but able to throw it away just to show people that you have the ability to get it, but to show the lesser beings and spirits that you're, su you're not supposed to be attached to these things. You could do these things, but don't be attached and let them go. Therefore, whatever realm of reality, you, you are as free as a bird. And you can do the same thing that the person who's getting a bigger shape and form but has no spirit is doing, but actually be light and not have no attachment to these things. So therefore, you're able to escape realms of realities where they can't. So it's like, it's like it's, I don't want to get into that yet. I don't want to get into that yet. But for the most part, uh, this, this, this is some other shit that I want to bring all y'all up into. So y'all can start knowing where the war is at and shit. Lemon juice and sea salt. Woo. Look. Now, when we get into, uh, that's sorcerers in a nutshell. Now, mages. Now, I meant to say mages. Mages is neutral. So, mages is neutral. So, a mage is just trying to learn. They're trying to learn magic. That's what a mage is. So they wasn't born with it. So a mage have to sit back and read books. A mage have to sit back and travel through locations. A mage have to sit back and wash themselves into different locational waters, bodies of waters, and obtain certain spirits in order, in order to gain information. See, a wizard and a witch naturally know how to pick up vibrations without having to learn the logic or the rationality. For an example, right now in three dimension, a lot of y'all have to go to school or go to the doctor to learn the actual thing that's going on with y'all. You know what I'm saying? So y'all have to go learn the word. Like, see, you have people out here that I take my videos, right, and think they're smart because they're super logical and rational. So they'd be like, oh, I know what he's talking about. He just don't know what he's talking about. Here's the word for it. See, and this is where they're lost at because I already understand that realm of reality. So if we was to start to start to get into the actual energy signature and start to decipher what we're actually talking about, I would still win the debate. I would still win the argument because you can only go as far back as what the term means and what somebody else can put their brain work into understanding what that energy signature is. But we're all experiencing this energy signature. And this is where I beat you at because you're busy trying to learn what someone else put the terms on that energy signature and I just know the energy signature for what it is. So you you'll be wasting your time within the debate or the argument coming up with trying to say, listen, you're not saying nothing special because here's what you're saying. Here's the word and the term for it. And then I'll be coming at you like, okay, let's get into the dialogue on how this actual meet how this actually represents itself in life and then you'll be out of the ballpark i hit you'll be out of your league you're 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 trying to reach for something you can't reach don't attack me that way i, I understand all that shit please chill out now for the most part so mages is trying to learn these things so this is where a mage come in people who are super scientists logical uh, uh, people, rational people who understand geographical location and know how to travel and know how to come up with GPSs and things of that nature or understand how to teach other people about latitude and latitude and things of that nature or people who know how to construct and build on religion or build on or, or, or give you words and terms and come up with things like that in order to explain energy signatures where a wizard and a witch just know about the energy signatures and can only tell you about it through experience like my videos so that's that's why you look at my videos and my videos is like 
it's almost about experience. Then when you go through other people's videos, it's almost like you're 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 just being taught about an energy signature. Then when you come to my channel, you're experiencing the energy signature firsthand. You see what I'm saying? So then when you go to other people's channels, they can only be talking about what I'm doing. You see, you, you get it? Like, it's, it's weird to explain it, but that's what a witch, a wizard is. A witch and wizard is like my channel. And a sorcerer and a mage is like other people's channels where they take other people's information and may debate it or... Or, or their whole video, their videos is about trying to give you the logical understanding of something. So give you the word of it, the history of it, the meaning of reasoning of it. Where my channel is about just that shit, period. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit, period. Like I am that shit. You see what I'm saying? So for the most part, a mage is a, a being that likes to learn. You know what I'm saying? And learn magic. So they can become well equipped. Where a witch or a wizard sometimes can come become chaotic within their own lives. And sometimes a mage can help a witch or a wizard construct their energy a lot of times. But a lot of times, see, the mages, when we talk about sorcerers, sorcerers like to kill witches and like to kill wizards. Because they like to take. So they take all their energy. And when you kill a wizard or a witch, there's an essence that comes from that. You will be forever haunted from that if, you, if you're if you not a mage or if you're not a sorcerer. Because if you don't know how to harness that energy, you will get haunted and taken over. Anybody do any type of harm to me, know the effects. So you, you better chill even if you're sitting back behind closed doors having any kind of ideas about me. Believe me, I know about it. And believe me, I know you know. You felt the effects about it. And you sat back and, and, and thought about it like, did this nigga do that? Nah, ain't no possible way this cat would have known about that. It's something I'm feeling about that. No, nigga. I'm Uriel. I know about that. <laughs> I know about that. I, I did that. You said, I did that. You feel me? Real shit. Now, I don't care on any level. Now. For the most part, when we talk now, that's a witch and a wizard, what I'm talking about. A, a mage or a sorcerer, they need to try to get this shit into hands. So a sorcerer will kill us and take our science and utilize it for themselves and, and their own intentions. A mage is neutral. You might come across a mage that might try to kill us from time to time, or you might try to or you might come across a mage that try to fuck with us. But a mage just try to take what we do and put it in books, put it in literal terms. You know what I'm saying? Create words off of it. Create expressions off of it. NATO, NATO tongues off of it. And, and, and languages and shit like that. And lords and legions, religions off of it and shit like that. And built off of it. And, and lands and land masses. And want land and want logic off of it and things of that nature. And the left brain, L, and create love off of it and... and and it's a diff it, it, it's uh, and create ladders to the point that you gotta go on a ladder scale to to reach a a, a, a pinnacle of whatever that uh, whatever their l linguistics is or their or their um legitimacy or how legit that they are or uh their ability to create a uh legislate legislate it goes deep down i don't want to uh go all into that shit but it, it goes deep with that lizard energy you know what I'm saying that 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 left brain uh, lizard energy and shit like that. Where we talk about the uh, the the reptilian part of your brain and a, and a group of those blood cells that spark that energy first to the point that the being that you are today, spirits that still follow those cells, ways of life and things of that nature. Now, um, so that before we even get into voodoo, we had to break that down. You know what I'm saying because you need to know where things are actually coming from. You know what I'm saying. Now. Voodoo can only come from a sorcerer or a mage. So keep that in mind. Voodoo can only come from a sorcerer or a mage. That's how it becomes voodoo. That's how it becomes low vibrational. You see what I'm saying? Because a witch or a wizard already have these energies. Now, um, when a sorcerer or a mage practice witchcraft or 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 practice um yeah, practice, practice witchcraft, which is wizards or wizardry. Which is witches and wizards, then that's when it that's when it becomes voodoo. You get it? So when a sorcerer or a mage take what witches or wizards do, that's when it becomes voodoo. Some other variant person is utilizing what witches and and wizards do. So it becomes voodoo. You see what I'm saying? Now, let's get into warlocks and warlords. Now, a warlock is a wizard 
I mean, a warlock is a sorcerer or a mage who initiate war because they're trying to lock in on that magic. But they had to lock in on it because they wasn't born with it. Now, a warlord is that energy. So a warlord is a witch or a wizard that initiate war. So if you're a witch or a wizard and you initiate war, you become a warlord because you are the lord of that energy signature because you was born with that energy signature and understanding that that ram and you initiated war. So that would make you a warlord. Now, a warlock, they have to lock in on that energy signature. So they have to take it, oblige it, build an army, build a system, and therefore they, they, they lock in on that system. So this is what warlocks is. Warlocks are sorcerers and mages that initiate war. So a lot of times in today's time, the actual definition that lies behind um, warlord uh, will be a person that's uh, that's a fake or false or image of a warlock. So a warlock is a person that's trying to be a warlord, but they're false because they was taught that way. So when you see a warlord, this is general sol soldiers and things of that nature and, and the generals and things of that nature. They was taught how to uh, do rules of engagement and go to war and things of that nature. So now when we talk about actual voodoo, voodoo itself, voodoo came from a person, a spirit that was in a body that have let a shape and form affect them so much that the emotional state, the, um, the emotional instability that this person was in became physical. So let me repeat, that's what. So let me repeat, that's what that's that's what it actually is when a person starts to utilize uh, voodoo. Right. Voodoo. Now, voodoo comes from a person. It comes from a, a it comes from a person. Who's who let a shape and form a person, place or thing affect them so much to the degree that the instability that this person was in. Became physical in some way, shape or form. And, you know, when something like that become physical, it can only play out in the third dimension as a situation or a circumstance. So this person's emotional instability of the or in their state of being by being hurt in some way, in some way, that emotional instability became an actual circumstance or a situation in this realm. So that's the most physical it could be. So that's the becoming of uh, of voodoo. So now when you get beings back like uh, that used to live around water and do a lot of music around around water. So this could be India a lot of times or it could even be in the Caribbeans. Anytime you get a group of beings that do a lot of music, a.k.a. kicking vibrations and those vibrations, vibrations, that's a shape and form. A spirit could go into that and rob. By, and if that's around a body of water, this is very powerful because sex is going on between two spirits. You get the waves of the water and the waves that's being emitted from the, the music that's being played and spirits going into those masculine ones and, 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 and then spirits going into those feminine ones and those two shapes and forms, molecules is having sex and, and birth of energies is coming across. And when we talk about bodies of water, this is talk about honing in and not wanting to leave, leave this realm of reality in some way, shape, or form. Wanting to stay in this body and this current. So, for the most part, you have a person who have got affected by a very low vibrational person, place, or thing. So, for a person to be affected in a low vibrational way to the point that it makes them emotionally inst unstable or uh, unstable, they had to have been affected by a person who was acting in a very low vibrational way. So if so think about it like this. When you got hurt, say you got hurt because you got cheated on. So that affected you in an emotional way. So you're emotionally unstable by that, right? But the action that a person took, they had to have cheated. So they was acting in low vibrational ways, which that's y'all are a loss in low vibrational ways, period, to even be in a realm of reality that y'all are looking at it in that way. But for the most part, let's just for the for the most part, let's just look at it like this. Then the person is the cheating, they're doing something low vibrational in this case. So for the most part, this is what's back bouncing back and forth energies. So when we're getting into a person wanting to practice voodoo, here's where a person get affected and then the emotional stability of that that they just got affected from 
that they just felt in the esoteric realm with their spirit. Now they it's so big that it's becoming physical, and then whatever imagination or feelings, emotions is on this person' mind and feelings that just got affected, and their emotions is in, is unstable. That's in it also. So whatever situation becomes manifested is going to be what's on this person's mind also. So it's going to be a lot of hurt. I wish this person this. I wish this person that. Person might have a voodoo doll. Person may have a belonging from this person that this person care about. Now, here's the thing. In order for this to actually affect the person that have done wrong or the person that, that the person want to use voodoo on, this person has to tap in or has to utilize the energy. They have to actually resonate with that state of being. A.K.A. be acting upon that same energy signature. Or be feeling that same way. That takes them back to that state of being. Or be having thoughts and ideas that will, tra that will travel their spirit to that state of being. So for the most part, the moment that person start to cheat again. Or to have, or to have the same kind of thoughts or feelings on their mind and on their heart that they had. When they affected you in that way. For you to get emotionally unstable. And to be impacted in that way. The moment they step into that same state of being on their own time. Dealing with their own people. That voodoo is able to be kicked up. Now depending on how strong the person that want to place voodoo on the person is. That's how big the scenario and situation is going to take place. And the bigger the scenario and situation. The, the more possibilities that that person could die. A.K.A. transform. Because all the elements that the cloud then came into that person's scenario. You get it? So, for the most part, when we want to talk about now witches. The only reason witches and, and, and wizards know how to utilize voodoo. Because voodoo came from a sorcerer or a mage. A person who wanted to learn about something and utilize it for what they wanted to utilize it for. And then when a person want to utilize something for their own gains, nine times out of ten, it's going against the wave. A.K.A. utilizing something against somebody else. So that's when it becomes voodoo. Utilizing this for somebody else and not utilizing this for your own creations because you're naturally having this like a witch or a wizard. You're utilizing what a witch and a wizard already have for the sake of against somebody because something is not going against, not going on your favor. That's a sorcerer. A mage just want to learn, learn this. So sometimes a mage can become a witch or a wizard, but they're still lower in a, a hierarchy. And then they could become sorcerers to the point that they have to, we have to engage in war. But for the most part, that's a mage. You know, a mage is here and there. You know what I'm saying? You, you have to deal with them on a one-on-one -on -one basis. But a sorcerer, you'll know these motherfuckers. They come acting like, acting like the witch and wizard already. And you can see that they're unwise. You see what I'm saying? That's a sorcerer. You, they're unwise with it. They learn a bunch of shit from wizards and witches and then try to utilize the shit for their authority or to be seen as Jesus or something like that. And they're unwise with it. And you can see it. It's like, God damn, you just a sorcerer. You better hope your shit lasts. Now, the only reason witches and wizards know about voodoo and, and know how to utilize voodoo is based upon... The motherfucking spirits that was already here that's in damnation from that shit. You see what I'm saying? So, so, like me, a wizard, or my fellow females in my soul group, witches, we know how to utilize voodoo. Without having to experience it, without having to experience the harsh experiences that these sorcerers and mages went through, or these everyday people that do <coughs> that don't really know that they're trying that they're doing sorcery. Everybody is doing sorcery on a small degree. <coughs> the whole world <coughs> to get to get your pleasures, or to get your material, or to get your indulgence is a form of sorcery. I don't give a, I don't care if you the highest religious person in the world. Your ability to go to church or your ability to preach is your ability of sorcery and to pass around that church bucket or your ability to feel comfortable because you heard the word. You utilize sorcery to feel comfortable and to justify whatever state of being you are in. I don't care how you look at it. You're utilizing a teaching to solidify whatever you want to manifest or, or your life circumstance. That's sorcery. You just have some people, some spirits that come here like Hitler 
and do what religious people do on a larger magnitude. So they look like people like Hitler. But Hitler is just a sorcerer. But that's a preacher. That's a theologian. A sorcerer on a smaller degree. To the point you just become a mage. Or you become a Freemason or something like that. That's it. You motherfuckers ain't nobody. You know what I'm saying? N at least not to me. As Archangel Uriel, I dare y'all motherfuckers to try to shut down my channel or in any kind of way or try to attack me or kill. I dare you. You motherfuckers know how I'm coming. Y'all already know what it is. The best y'all could do is let me flourish in music or something and hope I get blind on my path. I'm going to let you know right now. I ain't. I'm just going to use my path and get stronger. Motherfucker. <laughs> I don't care what you throw at me. Because you can't kill me. Y'all already know I'm past that vibrational level. So as a spirit in that realm, y'all already know that's that. Oh, no, don't let him go in that realm. Don't let him be without nobody. Don't let him have limitations. Uh, don't let him have uh, us be a spirit without no limitations and still understand how to attract to this realm. So the best y'all could do is uh, open doors for me. Just open doors and let me be successful and shit and let me be musically inclined and shit like that and, and, and hope I get blinded by that shit and, and get off my own path. <sighs> hope. Keyword, hope. Y'all may just need that. <laughs> Y'all source first need that against me. Y'all not fucking with me in my soul group, but that's another video. I'm disclosing too much goddamn spiritual secrets right now, for real, though. Let me stop that. But, you know what I'm saying? That's the only way. See, witches and witches know about voodoo without having to go through those emotional experiences because the sorcerers and mages and, and regular dumb, 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 everyday person that already did that shit. So y'all spirits still lingering around. So since a witch and a wizard, we automatically know how to tap into picking up energy signatures. Okay, we automatically know how to tap in what state of being y'all was in. In to, to either to even come to the conclusion that y'all want to do that against somebody else so all a witch and wizard as a soul group all we got to do is be like oh that's what state of being it was in and we just get into the state of being and we know how to utilize voodoo without being attached to that shit you know wizards and witches is hard in this motherfucker you know what i'm saying i love you and me for real so real shit i love y'all man let me stop this motherfucking video i'm releasing too much shit